Often, you might find you've got aches and pains and you don't even know where they came from. You might say, I feel like I got a tennis elbow, but I don't play tennis. Dr. Sam, is that something that you can help people with? Absolutely, Hunter. We've actually seen a lot of people come to our office, obviously, for neck and lower back, but you see shoulder, elbows, wrists, and a lot of times people realize a chiropractor can help with that. Right, and it's not just the immediate treatment of an adjustment, because when people think of chiropractics, they think of the cracks and pops, but there's more than that, correct? Absolutely. Biggest thing you want to do is you want to make sure the range of motion is there, whether it's the shoulder, the elbow, the neck, whatever joint you're dealing with, you want to make sure there's full range of motion. But you also want to make sure the soft tissue around the area is working with us and not against us. Let me show you what I mean. Let's say you came in and you're not a tennis player, but you're no. developing some tightness outside here. When you lift something, whether you're in the gym, lifting a grocery bag or something of another, obviously if you've fallen, then it's yeah, another yeah. thing. But if you're just feeling tight tightness here and then golfers are is gonna be at the inside. So if I come right, you feel that right in there? Ah, yeah, no and Hunter's making a nice little face right there. You guys yeah. saw that? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my grassing tool and come right on this area. And what we're doing is we're following the soft tissue and we're basically breaking up the adhesions. These adhesions are restrictions in the soft tissue fibers that is gonna elongate the muscle. It just, just kind of feels weird. <laughs> well, it, it can start to hurt a yeah. little bit, and that's the biggest thing. You want to go to tolerance. I always tell patients less is more. So what I like to do is first statically do it like, and he's like that, and then I'm gonna have you kind of do with your range of motion, your wrist up and down. Oh, as yeah, I, I feel that part, you notice pull. that. You, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And go ahead, keep doing that for me. All the way down. Yep, and then all the way back up, and all the way back down. You see what I'm doing here is I'm kind of opening up that soft tissue, so elongation of that tissue. And you're gonna notice, you may have a little redness when you're done, yeah. you may have a little soreness, but you're gonna feel that full range of motion. This type of technique can be used anywhere. You can even use it in the wrist, on the shoulders, mm -hmm. and in the upper trap area. A lot of people right. have stress there. Now, what would cause uh, discomfort, soreness, pain in the wrist, the elbow, the shoulder, if I'm not a sports player, but I'm experiencing, say, a tennis elbow or a golf elbow? It could be for a number of reasons. So it ma matters where the root cause is, not just the symptom. Mm -hmm. Your wrist pain could be coming from your neck. Your elbow pain could be coming from your shoulder. You want to get assessed by a professional before engaging in any kind of rehab protocol. Well, Dr. Sam, thank you so much. It's uh, much like anything else. There's different diets for everyone. There's different doctors for everyone. And every chiropractor has a different skill set and tool set available to them. Um, so these are good things to know and be able to ask so that you can get out of pain. Right? Sounds good.